you were on the group of people that was advising whether Pluto should remain a planet. Uh, at the American Museum of Natural History, when we redid our exhibits, we said Pluto belongs here, not there. Pluto was long considered our solar system's ninth planet. Hey there, space enthusiasts. Today, we're tackling something that's literally out of this world. Pluto, our favorite demoted planet, just smashed into Neptune. Yeah, Neptune. The big blue marble way out there in the freezing depths of our solar system. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, aren't planets supposed to stay in their lanes? Well, usually, yeah. But something went seriously wrong out there in the cosmic highway. And now we've got a mess of planetary proportions on our hands. Let's break this down, shall we? For billions of years, Neptune and Pluto have been doing this cosmic dance. Pluto's orbit is weird. It's super elliptical, which means sometimes it's closer to the Sun than Neptune, and other times it's way out there in the boonies of the solar system. But here's the kicker. They were never supposed to hit each other. It's like they had this perfect timing thing going on. Pluto would swing in close, but Neptune would always be somewhere else in its orbit. It was like a cosmic game of catch me if you can, and for billions of years, neither one could catch the other. Until now. Something changed. Maybe it was a rogue asteroid, or some weird gravitational hiccup from the edge of the solar system. Whatever it was, it knocked Pluto right into Neptune's path. And boom. Cosmic collision. Now let's talk about what this means, because trust me, it's wild. First off, we're talking about an explosion that makes nuclear bombs look like firecrackers. Pluto might be small, but it was moving fast. And Neptune? Well, Neptune is huge. When these two hit, it released energy on a scale that's hard to even imagine. The immediate result? A massive cloud of debris that's spreading out across that part of the solar system. We're talking ice, rock, and gas all mixed up in a swirling mess that stretches for millions of miles. It's like someone took a blender to a couple of planets and hit puree. But here's where it gets really crazy. This collision isn't just affecting Pluto and Neptune. It's messing with everything out there. See, all the planets in our solar system are held in this delicate gravitational balance. It's like a cosmic mobile hanging over a baby's crib. Touch one piece and everything starts to wobble. Well, we just took a sledgehammer to that mobile. The Kuiper Belt, which is this ring of icy bodies out past Neptune, where Pluto used to hang out, is in chaos. All these little ice balls and mini planets are getting yanked around by the changing gravitational fields. Some of them might even get thrown towards the inner solar system. Yeah, that means towards us. And it's not just the little stuff. We're seeing changes in the orbits of the other outer planets too. Uranus, Saturn, even Jupiter. They're all feeling the effects of this collision. It's like the whole solar system just got rearranged. But wait, there's more. This collision is giving us a chance to see stuff we've never seen before. All that material that's been locked away inside Pluto and Neptune for billions of years. It's all out in the open now. Scientists are scrambling to study this stuff because it's giving us clues about how our solar system formed. We're seeing chemicals mix in ways they never have before. The icy core of Pluto is mingling with the weird high-pressure gases from deep inside Neptune. Who knows what kind of crazy compounds this might create. We might be looking at the birth of materials that have never existed before in the universe. And here's a mind-bender for you. This collision is so massive that it's actually warping space-time. Yeah, you heard that right. We're talking Einstein-level weirdness here. The energy released is so immense that it's causing ripples in the very fabric of space. Scientists are hoping we might be able to detect these ripples with our gravitational wave detectors here on Earth. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering, is Earth in danger? Well, the short answer is not immediately. We're pretty far from where all this is happening. But long term, that's a trickier question. See, this collision has thrown a wrench into the whole orbital mechanics of the solar system. It's possible that over millions of years, these changes could alter the orbits of asteroids or comets in ways that might send them our direction. 
It's not something to lose sleep over tonight, but it's definitely got scientists talking about stepping up our planetary defense game. If you want to stay updated on this cosmic collision and other mind-blowing space news, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't want to miss what comes next. Until then, keep looking up. The universe is putting on one hell of a show.